Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me again. In this video we'll show you how to set up virtual here USB server on your deck station and virtual here client on the cloud gaming computer Shadow and how you can send USB data and USB peripherals from your Samsung deck station to Shadow cloud gaming computer. First step is to download virtual here USB server. Just go to Google Play Store, search for virtual here, and one of the first results will be virtual here USB server. Just click on it and click install. As soon as installation is finished, just click open. When you have virtual here USB server running on your deck station, first of all, let's test if this app is working. Just take any USB peripheral. It can be a keyboard, a mouse, a USB storage device, a webcam, anything with the USB connection and plug in at the back of a deck station. When you plug in your device at the back of a deck station, you should receive a message saying virtual here USB server. Allow virtual here USB server to access and in here will be your device name. I am using an old PS2, PS2 USB mouse as example. So uh, virtual here asking me Am I allowing virtual here USB server to access this? I'm just going to say yes and yes again. The next step, what you need to do on the deck station is to log in to your router and set up a port forwarding option. In my case, I'm using a BT internet. So I have an access to my home BT router with an IP address 192.168.1.254. Your address may vary and your broadband router may vary as well. So check the manual of your router and find exactly which IP address you need to punch in to be able to access your router settings. In my case, if I'll go to advanced settings, I will have an option with, for port forwarding. If I click on it, it's going to ask me to log in with the admin details. Every router has a different setup. Your router may be different from what I'm using. So please check your manual how to do a fire port forwarding using your equipment. The easiest way is just Google how to do port forwarding on, let's say, BT router or how to do port forwarding on Vodafone router. And you can even search for how to do port forwarding on and just enter your router model number. There is a lot of help online. So Google is your friend. Just have a quick Google find your router do a port forwarding and when the port forwarding is completed let's go to a next step next step you need to find your outside ip address as other ways it's called public ip address like for example my node 9 or deck station local ip address is 192.168.1.190 this is my Note 9, local IP address. What we need to do, we need to find your outside IP address. The best way to do, just Google what's my IP address. And one of the first results will be a page to looking something like this. And it's going to give you your public IP version 6 address and your IP version 4 public IP address. Take a note of what you see in this line. Take a note of your outside IP address because we're going to have to use that later. What we need to do next, we need to set up virtual USB client on your cloud PC. These steps will work on every cloud PC. Doesn't matter if it's shadow PC, paper space, or Google cloud, or actual physical computer, which can be located anywhere in the world as long as it has an internet connection. In my case, I will use a cloud gaming computer by the name of Shadow. I will use the Shadow Android app to log in and control it. So let's open up and connect to Shadow. As, as soon as you connect it to your cloud machine, what you need to do next, you need to go and open your browser. It can be uh, Opera, it can be Chrome browser, it can be Edge, doesn't matter as long as you can go and Google virtual here. One of the first links will be virtual here home. You need to click on it and you'll be presented with the home page, which gives you a graph exactly how all this can be set up and what variants of the connections can be done. We are interested in a client. We're gonna click on a client icon and scroll down a bit until we find our OS. 
as you can see it will work with Linux OS X and we in this video are gonna use a Windows client then load which one is represents your system could it be 32 bit or could it be 64 bit majority or nearly every cloud PC they all have 64 bit Windows pre-installed so then load this one when download is finished you should find the file inside your download folder or any other folder where you chose the files to be downloaded to from your browser I can see a vhui64.exe file because I chose 64-bit if you chose 32-bit you will find vhui32.exe file inside your folder this is a standalone app and what that means it won't install anything extra so it will be easier if we're gonna move this app into a desktop the next step would be set up the server double click on the app and you will be presented with a small window with only one line inside saying USB hubs right click on it and choose specify hubs this list will be empty at the first start I need to click add and I need to fill this line with my public IP address which we took a note previously I will do that and I'll come back shortly after you entered your public IP address colon 7575 and clicked OK the previous window with the empty list should have a first entry with your public IP address colon 7575 after that just click close if all the steps was followed correctly you should see a list appeared inside the virtual here client underneath USB hubs I should be presented with the server name Android hub and below a list of every USB device that is currently connected to my Android tech station as you can see I have a USB hub with Ethernet adapter I have optical mouse I have the mouse which we're using as a test USB plus PS slash 2 and I have a wired keyboard to enable any of these devices to be pushed from my deck station to this cloud machine I need to right click on it and you choose use this device when I clicked choose use this device the windows will recognize the mouse and now instead of you seeing a two mouse pointers following each other I can actually use one mouse pointer separately because I am currently using USB PS2 mouse and this small mouse is my deck station final note before ending this video the virtual here offers you a two options to use the software there is a free version and there is a paid version free version allows you to send only one device at one time you can send keyboard and a mouse peripherals same time to your cloud computer or to any other computer with a paid version you can send multiple devices at the same time if you go to virtual here website and under USB servers if you choose Android USB server you'll be presented with a page where it explains more in details how all this works and you have an option to purchase a license when you purchase a license following these steps you will receive an email with a license key which you can go back to your deck station open virtual here app click on the three dots option and inside license just paste the license key inside here as you can see I already purchased a license so I can send multiple devices at the same time 